What's up, YouTube? Hey, Card Dreamer here. Some mornings are rough, and you can see my face. It's a rough morning. Why is it a rough morning? I've had a very busy week. Uh, it's just been going, going, going. Y'all know I've been on COVID leave. I go back to work on Tuesday. I'm excited. But uh, my wife has had me doing honey-do lists. And we've been going in here and Disney and all over the place. And yesterday we went to the card show. So my buddy Tom and I went to the Orlando card show. And I talked to him and I said, hey, let's put my theory to the test. Let's see when we buy cards. Because if you watched my last video, you understand what this is about. When I went to the card show, we went and looked at the older people with the modern cards and the older cards. And we went to the younger people and looked at the modern cards and their older cards. Well, I wish you guys were there because you would have said, nailed it. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I got. So, first of all, we went to, uh, looked around, we searched around and Tom has never been to a card show, not in this way. And uh, we looked around and we said, well, let's see what we can find first. And the first thing I hit is my 10 cent boxes. As I told you, I always do. Um, I didn't find a lot of stuff, but I did find some stuff. And I kind of show you what I found. Uh, Ray Lewis Rookie, there's two of those. This really neat uh, Mike Kazik. Uh, I found an error card for my 1991 pro set uh found the error card found a really cool jamal lewis rookie there's the other ray lewis uh steve mcnair card i didn't have this uh derek hardman jamal lewis jonathan ogden i think i might have that but i'm not sure but for 10 cents found the complete team set to this uh, I believe it's 2000, uh, 2004 uh, tops. I found the complete Ravens team set there. Let's put those down. Ooh, dancing. I don't know if I have them or not, but at 10 cents, it's worth a shot. A couple uh, tops chrome from 2011. A Marquise Brown, another Hollywood Brown. That's the uh, gold version. Found this Tony Gonzalez, numbered out of 199. Found this David Lefeur. Uh, this is going to a buddy. All right. And then found this Drew Blitzo right here. So that was out of the 10 cent boxes. That wasn't bad at all. So then we decided to start doing the theory. And we looked around and we found um, a younger guy who had a bunch of vintage cards and i asked him how much were his vintage cards he said well put a group together and i'll tell you i said great so i went through for my sets so i'm going to show you some things i found for my sets 76 larry zonka 76 joe theisman 76 harold mclennan len dawson george blanca bubba smith Dan Fouts, okay, Earl Monroe, Bob Lilly, John Riggins, Ben Davison, Willie Woods, Morgan, Craig Morgan, Earl Moreau, and a John Riggins. So I gave him this stack and I said, how much for this stack? And they had price stickers on the back. I'm not gonna lie, they had price stickers on the back. Um, some of them were loose, some of them weren't. Three dollars, right? So I'm expecting to get this for the price sticker. That's what I assumed. And he handed it to me like this and said, give me seven dollars. Seven bucks. Now this equaled out to the price stickers was forty dollars. Forty dollars. I got it for seven. Okay, so does that mean anything? Maybe not, maybe not. But, so we go and find an older person. 
and there's a bunch of vintage cards there and I asked them how much they wanted for the vintage and they were strict on their price on the vintage. They were looking at practically full book. They had a um, 75 Joe Namath on there and they wanted like full value on it. And I looked at eBay and I was like, wow, I could get that. I wish I could have recorded it for you guys, but I said, well, I can get that on. I even told the person, I said, I can get that online for $3. And they're like, no, no. Yeah, but you can't see the quality online. I'm like, I know, I understand that, but can you come down a little bit? You know, he's like, no, no, I'm not coming down. I said, okay. So my buddy Tom says, hey man, you need to come look at this. And I'm like, okay. So we found these. Here is a Antonio Wesley, priced at $6. An Herb Smith, priced at $4. A Tracy McSorley, that is numbered out of 25, totally inscripted, for $10. This Miles Gaskin, priced at $10. And this Hunter Renfro, priced at four dollars so he's I said when he said come over and look at this he said everything that has this price sticker is 70% off 70% off now you're talking about let's see 10 20 I know I know this much I pay 10 bucks for this stack okay this card alone on eBay right now the last comp is 80 bucks, $80 comp on this one card. And he had it priced at 10 and sold it to me for 70% off. So I paid $3 for this card. And they just blew this out, yet he wouldn't come down on his vintage at all, wouldn't at all. It was a little, it was a little old lady and it was, anyway. So that's what we picked up. So let's get off of that. Now we're gonna go to the other things that we found. These right here were out of the, um, let me see, this is, these ones. oh, these were the dollar. So I got these for a dollar. Got this Clint Frazier, Matt Ryan, rookie, Melvin Gordon, short print, variation, Zach Ertz. Got this Caleb Cowart for Immaculate. Got this uh, Ido Smith. Uh, Kevin Norwood from National Treasures. Uh, this, I thought this was cool. Kevin Hogan. This was a Christian Ponder and Taylor Potts dual auto. And I found this Travis Jorowski right here. All those were a dollar. Then we went to a place where they were six cards for $10. So I put these together. JK got this untouched Baltimore Raven card numbered out of 399. Clements Moore. Bueller. That's for the PC. Bueller for the PC. Dalvin Thompson. Dexter Lawrence. I thought this was pretty cool, even though Paxton Lynch doesn't play anymore. So that's Paxton Lynch and uh, Devontae Booker, uh, Stanley Hogan Jr., Williams, Miles Sanders, and Daryl Sweeney. So with that, after it was, they were supposed to be six for $10, and I had 12 cards here, and I told him I had 12 cards here, he said, give me seven bucks. I paid seven bucks for that. Then I went to the doll to the uh, another lady who had nothing but dollar stuff, and that's what she had. She was all everything in the boxes were a dollar, didn't matter what it was. So this I found a really good steal. Uh, there was an Ezekiel Elliott gold. Then they had a bunch of these Gypsy Queens. Uh, I mean, there was a Gypsy Queen. I'm sorry. This is um, I don't know. I don't know my baseball very well. So Bryce Brandon. Randon, Rondon, okay. But these were thought, these were Allen and Ginter. And I know that I've seen a lot of these online sell for different prices, so I figured I'd pick them up. Uh, this is Travis Pastrana, Pastrania, I don't know. This is Little Dawson, 
This is Haley Dawson. This was Kepner, Tyler Kepner. And this is Braun, Ryan Braun. And then I found this Javier Baez, who was in the dollar bin. But these two I saw and I thought they were unique. And they are of one Rodney Mor Morden, Molin, Rodney Molin, he's a skateboarder. And I looked these up when I got home and the selling comps on these are 50 bucks each. COMC has them on for a hundred and something dollars. The other one is a big one that's still up for sales. They're asking 199, but the actual comps on these cars, they have sold from, one sold for $199, believe it or not. But they, the other comps are like um, 56 to 43 to 40. They're all over the place, but they were nothing, nothing less than $40 on comps. And I got a dollar a piece on these, so that was a good pickup. Um, last couple pickups, I got this for a buddy of mine who lives locally. Uh, even though I just thought it was cool to have, they had the W of the Wilson football. Um, I picked up a couple dollar cards, Jalen Hunter and Nick Boyle. And then I was looking for an autograph that I paid a little up for, but I'm okay with it. One Max Muncy. Love this guy. Uh, doing great in the World Series, Max Muncy. So, uh, it says $10 sticker. I paid seven. So actually I paid six cause I didn't have another one. He's like, oh, I don't worry about it. Give me $6. So I paid six bucks for that. So. It was a very awesome show. I spent a total of $60 at the show um, my, with all the selling that I'm going to do with these uh, I sh on eBay and stuff like that. I should be able to comp out at least $300. So uh, it was a very good show. It was a very exciting show. So um, I'm excited. So anyway, I, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Peace. And God bless. And big dreams, everyone. Big dreams from the car dreamer.